Well, howdy, folks. They call me Miner Bravo, and I'll be taking you down this calico mine. I got one rule and one rule only, and that's no smoking on my train. We're dealing with a lot of dangerous dynamite down there, and I, for one, would like to not explode. All aboard. With the clang of a bell and the toot of a whistle, visitors ride the train that takes them deep into the calico mine. Down here you'll witness many a miner working and shoring away. Why, they've been working so hard they've been down here for the last 50 years. And like the engineer said, it's just like they've been doing it for 50 years now. This unusual gold mine was a big undertaking. A mountain had to be built to bring this newest addition to the many attractions at Knott's Berry Farm. Every detail is authentic. This donkey engine is just like the real thing. My granddad worked in the Calico Mines in Calico uh, in San Bernardino. He uh, loved the Old West and uh, he was very excited about this. And he and Bud Hurlbut actually was a handshake in the starting of this whole ride. Our engineer on this trip will be Bud Hurlbut. There was no paperwork, there was no contract. It was strictly a handshake that uh, this would be done. Bud had been building and operating amusement park rides, including several for not, for many years when he started designing the Calico Mine Train ride. There's nothing really to do with mining up here at Knott's Bay Farm. You know, he, he does have that pan for gold, you know. And so I, I kicked that around a little bit. It started out with one ore car with two people in it. So I thought I'll have to cook two cars together and I'll send out four people. I thought, well, then go to three or four cars. That isn't good enough. So then I built trains, you know, and I thought, how building, if I'm building up a train big enough to haul big loads, and I can take 50 or 60 through the time. And that's when the train comes into the picture. The ride was the biggest thing Bud had ever designed and included scenes with mud pots, working miners, a cavern, and a fake dynamite explosion. Too late! <laughs> Designing and building it eventually put Bud into a financial strain. I sold my ranch and I sold my house. I just bought a new Cadillac and I sold it. <laughs> and I had down to nothing. I didn't have anything else to sell. I had a pickup. And my wife and I drove around in a pickup for a while. So I told, I had to go to Mr. Knott and tell him, you know, hey, I'm down to the bottom of the barrel. And he said, well, don't pay me any rent, you know, on my percentage on the, on the ride you're doing, and uh, we'll go into partnerships. I only lied to Mr. Knott once. One day he came over and he says, do you know what you're doing? And he said, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> the Calico Mine Train opened on November 22nd, 1960, and became an immediate success. You never know when you turn the switch on, you know, how good it is. Woo -woo. That was a close one. Luckily we made it due to my dyno, my driving. The train ride is considered a classic in the theme park business. It has inspired many theme park designers over the years, including myself. Bud even talks about how impressed Walt Disney was with it when he wrote it for the first time. It's an icon for us because it was the first major ride that Knott's and, and Bud Hurlbut produced and uh, we've been very happy with it. That concludes your stay here at the old Calico Mine. Please remain seated until a train comes with a complete stop. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.